how's it going? Hope you're having a shit one. I am filming my video in a field of solar panels. What video have you ever watched on YouTube where a guy stands in a field of solar panels and explains something to you? No, you've never seen that, so hit subscribe, my dude. And actually, before we even get into this video, I went to a theme park the other day. And we were supposed to park in this area because there was a lot of people obviously going there. But we were literally like a kilometer away from the entrance and the walk was way too far. And we walked like half of it and found these electric charging bays that no one was using. So we were like, nah, fuck this, let's just go repark my car there. There was a guy standing there in, in like the high vis who was like controlling all the parking. And I was like, oh, I have an electric car and I forgot that I need to charge it. Can I repark my car? And he was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Reparking my hybrid vehicle. Don't want it to run out of electricity. What in cousin fucking tarnation? Oh. It's supposed to be a, it's supposed to be a cord. See, uh, see like this? That's for the, uh, this is for the hybrid. So the, 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 yeah. they don't have the cord. Yeah. Oh, we'll, just, we'll just leave it here then. Okay, as well. Okay, so what has actually been happening? Well, actually yesterday, I went on a boat ride with Megan. And if you remember Megan, we filmed a video, Amateur vs Pro, where she versed me in a little battle or something. She took us out on her boat and, I don't know, we just got to see a bit of her area and a bit of the Netherlands, like, through her eyes, which was really cool. And really nice of her, so. Thank you, Megan. And also, we filmed a photo battle. It was us boys and Faye versus Hayden and Chris. Our team was just so OP. And we also did a photo walk in Rotterdam. So if you came to that photo walk, you're a legend. And also, I actually had a thought the other day. In the future on my channel, I would love to have something where you can apply to verse me in an amateur verse pro, and then someone would get picked out of that and flown in so we could film that episode. You can stay tuned for that, but that's still a little bit later down the line, but at some point I would love to film some videos like that. But let's talk about right now, in this current, present moment, what is happening. I actually tried to film a reaction video last week where me and the boys, we sat down and just watched some photography stuff and react to some stuff and, I don't know, talk some shit, but the audio didn't catch on our new microphones and stuff, so that was a bit frustrating because we were just having issues with that. I also sat in my car to film a different type of video and I just wasn't, I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling it that day and I couldn't really talk and I was just getting frustrated and then I wasn't really getting excited about what I was talking about so I just binned that whole video. Oh yeah, and of course we're still moving around different parts of Europe. That also means we have to move all of our stuff from like one apartment to the other. We're literally hoarders. Mate, what Welcome back, first episode. Right, hoarders, today we have to <laughs> open the blinds we have all of our shit. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Hello, Lamar. And it's so random because we live in like this van. We're moving around to like these different cabins. They're like holiday parks, I think, or something like that. We rock up with Liam's massive head on the front of our van with the straight piped R8. So we're just like <laughs> driving these two cars around and it's just for everyone else looking at us, we're like a full on film crew with all this gear and shit. Ah, oh, dude, it's, it would just, it would look so random for just regular civilians. And then we're also facing some problems with building the website and V3s and stuff. So there's just so much shit going on. Um, it's been hard just to like sit down and make a video. I guess the whole point of this video is that there is no right or wrong way to create content, to take photos, to make videos, to do any sort of art. There's no rules to any of this sort of stuff. You just sort of go with the flow, go with how you're feeling, and that's why you should do it. You shouldn't do it if it makes you feel like you have to do it. If you feel forced to make some sort of artwork, to do something that you really love, then you're doing it for the wrong reasons. I've been doing YouTube now for almost five years and that still slips my mind that I can just take my camera out, I don't have to post anywhere, I don't always have to use that content for something. The lines get blurred so quickly now with all these different social media apps and I don't know, there's, it can be very overwhelming now as an artist, a content creator, whatever the fuck you want to call yourself. So I think it's always important to remember what your values are and stick to that.
That's why I like to ask these random questions in my YouTube community tab. And I recently asked how often do people take photos? And it was great to see just such an awesome mix of people sharing their reasons as to why someone would shoot every day with a camera or maybe they never really do at all. And there was one comment there that was really inspiring. BV Wonder said, I take photos whenever I'm in the mood. There is no time and schedule and that's what I love about it. And I think that's beautiful. That's exactly what you should strive for. And I know that's not always viable for everyone. This is sort of like my job. So I'm always using cameras. So I have to always find the balance with what technically is work and what am I gonna share and post and what is gonna be for me and what is gonna be using a camera to capture memories and moments instead of always trying to take photos just to share them. So that was a really nice comment. Thank you for that. that. That was actually really inspiring for me to hear as well. YouTube community tab, man, get around it. It's so good. Anyway, that's the end of this video. If you did like it, maybe you can leave a like down below or help us out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, have a shit one and I will see you in the next one. And join the Discord.